Howdy folks, thanks for joining me on today's episode. This one is coming from the Real McCoy Ranch, and I'm excited to share this one with you. There's going to be multiple different kill shots in this one that I think that y'all will really enjoy. This is kind of a part two from a trip that happened back towards the end of April, 1st of May, with a good friend of mine, Mr. John Verhelst. Um, he had a bunch of his employees out for the weekend, and we had a great time, and I showed you guys John's big ibex but here's a few clips from the rest of the weekend and we had a great time and put down a lot of animals those guys took home some meat let me tell you but before we get into that I want to share the verse of the day with you guys it comes from James chapter 1 verse 27 it says pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows and their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you and it's so important that we we care for those people in, in those instances and in those walks of life, but it's also important that we care for many other um, people of all ages and, and all different walks of life. It's important that we are uh, loving as Christians, and it's also very important that we don't fall into worldly things, and we must refuse to let the world corrupt us. The world is full of sin, and it's full of uh, people and lifestyles that say we should be more selfish and we shouldn't care for others and we should join the cesspool of sin and what the world is today and we should stay far away from that. I hope that's an encouraging word to you guys today. But as we roll forward into the meat and potatoes portion of this video, the hunting portion, I should say, you guys will get to see the gentleman that sat with me. His name's Rodney, and man, we had a great time. I hunted with Rodney for the majority of the weekend. I hunted with everyone, um, but I spent the most time in the blind with Rodney. He's a great guy, and he was uh, a lot of fun to be around and great conversation, and we had a coyote that surprises us. I think it was, uh, it was one of our morning hunts. I want to say it was uh, maybe our Saturday or Sunday morning hunt. We were sitting there. We were getting ready to leave and get out uh, it was like i don't know 11 30 12 o'clock starting to get a little warm and i look up and there's a coyote standing right in the middle of the sendero unfortunately uh, i didn't have time to get it on video but i want to throw up a picture here for you guys anyway it was pretty cool that's the first coyote that i've ever leave i've ever seen and uh, taken off of the real mccoy ranch we hear them a lot but it's the first one not the first one i've ever seen that's probably the second or third one that i've seen but that's the first one and that I've ever been a part of uh, with a harvest. So really a good deal and good timing to get rid of that coyote out of there and kind of out of the area, obviously. Uh, there's lots of fawns dropping now from uh, white tails to red deer, little all dad kids. Uh, lots of animals are dominoing right now, and it's important to protect those, those babies. So we did our due diligence there, and then I'm going to roll over into a, a safari-style hunt this one was really cool. We really wanted to take more access deer than what we did this particular weekend, but everything is so green. We got so much rain. They, the animals were just not interested in coming out of the thick brush, but we managed to pull off uh, one access doe uh, safari style out of the, the uh, buggy, the side by side, and it worked out just right for us. Access, she's the one right up front. Right? Yeah, she's the one right up front. Okay. She's gonna go down right there. Right there, right there. Lay down, baby. Yes, sir. Right. Awesome. Great shot. Hey, Jeff. What do you want to do now? I don't know. 
Go to Disneyland? Yeah, to go to Disney World. <laughs> Not Disneyland. We had the buggy tucked away in the brush and they had no idea that we were even there. We were able to pull a shot off. And she did not run far at all. We made a great shot. It was a quick and easy recovery and it was super hot. So we loaded her up, ran her back to the, the skin and shed. We had to make a mad dash with these animals and start getting some cleaning, some, some cleaning and some processing going because it was so warm. And then we popped back out. We fed, uh, fed the roads and everything and fed the senderos in front of the blinds and we all piled into different stands and then rodney and i ended up having a very eventful evening um, he took two hogs and this one was actually uh, first this is the first evening if it was a friday afternoon if i'm not mistaken he harvested a couple of hogs we had uh, four guys including john the first afternoon john's main focus was ibex and i'm not even entirely certain that he took his bow i think he I think he did take his bow that first evening sit but his three employees that were there hunting they all harvested two hogs a piece that first go around in that first evening so in the first afternoon we had six hogs on the ground and then the next day we put a coyote an ibex and an axis doe and it seemed like there was one other animal that was harvested I just can't think of it right off the top of my head. But anyway, we pretty well got footage of everything, had a great time. And now I'm going to let those hog hunting clips roll. You guys enjoy. It was a great weekend at the Royal McCoy Ranch. And if you guys want to come out and hunt with us, all the information will be down in the description below. There is a price list. There's contact information. My social media is down in the description below. So is my email. You guys can get in touch with me, and I can book you a hunt. We're... We do all kinds of different stuff from, you know, just single person weekends all the way up to corporate trips like this particular weekend was. We can accommodate a lot of people and we certainly enjoy our bigger parties. It just makes a, a, a good and enjoyable environment with lots of laughing, lots of jokes. And typically everyone um, like this uh, certain weekend, typically everybody takes home a lot of meat. We create new friendships and that's what it's all about for us. John's party was great. We can't wait to have those guys back out and hunting with us again. Next video coming up though for you guys is going to be a, a good hog hunt. I've got a group of hogs. It's a sow and, and a, a bunch of her sh uh, shoats that are rolling in and they've been pretty well consistent. So I'm looking forward to jumping on them and testing a brand new broadhead that I don't think many of you have heard of before i know it was a first for me and it's going to be a first time testing um, for me and a first uh, time with this broadhead being on the channel so i'm super pumped for that also have another brand new broadhead from a really a really well-known company that i can't wait to show to you guys um and actually you know what i've just looked at the box three uh, brand new broadhead testing videos coming at you back to back to back that's the goal that's the plan i may go ahead and throw in a video from the property and some of the fence building that we've been doing i think that you guys will enjoy that also but all in all you guys make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun action thank you all for being here y'all are awesome i really appreciate it and i'll see you in just a few days awesome.